everybody, this is Dustin Hubbard with Gaming Alexandria, and today I want to go over a couple of hardware solutions that you can use to dump and preserve your Famicom Disk System games. Luckily both are relatively cheap, and the software is really good on both and pretty easy to use, so that's always a plus when it comes to preservation. They also both have their own pros and cons, which I'll go over in the video, so let's go ahead and move on and check them out right now. The first of the two uh, products we're going to go over is the FDS stick that was created by Loopy. And uh, it's a really neat product because not only can it read disc, it can also uh, load them onto flash memory. And you can play this on your console. So it can load up to, I think, gosh, 256 disc or something crazy like that. It has a lot of memory and it's real easy to use. The only catch with it, though, is you need to have a cable like this one. Now, you can make your own by uh, taking two RAM adapters and cutting the cord off of it and splicing them together. It's a lot of work, and it's also pretty expensive because RAM adapters aren't cheap anymore. So what I recommend is you can buy a cable just like this one from a website, and I'll put it in the description, uh, called Tototech. And I think it's 35 bucks or so, maybe a little bit more than that, but still... Much easier than trying to source two RAM adapters and splicing a cable together yourself. And it's nicely labeled with the up uh, stickers on there so you know which way to plug it into uh, your devices. So what you'll do is you just plug one side into this and you'll plug the other side into the back of your Famicom disk system. And this will connect your PC by the USB port. And once you do that, you load up the software and you'll be able to uh, dump your disc or write uh, games to the flash memory of this and play it on your real console. So this is pretty easy to use. Like I said, you will have to uh, purchase or make a uh, custom cable for this. So just be aware of that. Now the second product I want to go over is the QDC by Kitahei88. I may have mispronounced that. I probably did. But uh, he's a guy out of Japan that developed this. And uh, it works really well. And the added benefit is you don't need a custom cable for it. What you can do is you'll take a cable out of your uh, RAM adapter that you probably already have if you're playing Famicom Disk System games. All it takes is this one right here. You can take a picture of it too when you're pulling it out just to be sure you put it back in the right way. But it really only easily goes in one way. So I'm going to pull this cable up. And you attach it to the side on the right it says to drive and the correct orientation for this is if you can see there between the brown pin and the orange pin there's a blank pin and you'll want that to line up like this to where basically the second pin on the to drive plug is blank and once that's in there you just plug it into the back of your Famicom disk system drive don't mind my butchered cable, that was from a project a long time ago, but it's still good. And lastly, to connect it to your computer, you just connect it with the USB cable right here. And once you plug that in, you'll be able to use the software to uh, dump your Famicom Disk System games. Okay, so let's go ahead and start with the QDC software first. So I put a link in the description of the video to where you can download that. Go ahead and download it and extract it. And once you do that, You'll have a folder like this, go within the QDC folder, then bin, then win, and here's our executable for QDC. So we'll launch that. It's going to want us to initialize the drive, so make sure you've got everything connected like I showed you earlier with the uh, QDC going to the Famicom disk system and your computer by the USB cable. We'll click initialize and it's asking us our target system. By default it's Famicom disk system, so we can just hit OK. And now we're ready to read a disk. So we're going to hit read disk. Uh, down here you'll notice it's saying it's going to save it as a raw file type, which we can't use in anything, but we'll be able to convert that shortly. So I'm going to go ahead and call it Exciting Basketball Side A. Most Famicom disk system games are two sided, uh, some of the earlier ones are just single sided. And then there's unlicensed ones that are actually multiple discs, but those are pretty rare. And I don't think any retail games use more than one disc. So let's flip it over to side B. Read 
do it again. Make sure to label it side B. Those dumps I did from earlier were to test to make sure this worked. Okay, side B is complete. So now we need to convert those raw files into something usable in emulators. So let's do data convert. Pick raw to FDS. Up here it's uh, asking us what uh, raw file we want. So we're gonna have to do both sides separately. And it quickly converted that. So now we've got side A and side B converted. But emulators will want a single FDS file. We can't have it in separate sides. So we're gonna go ahead and merge those. And up here it's asking us disk one side A, so we'll pick that. Disk one side B, we'll pick that. And like I said earlier, there's unlicensed games that use multiple disks, but retail, and in this case, we don't have that. So we just close this window out, and now it's merged those two files into a single one. So we need to test that now to make sure it works. So I'm gonna open up an emulator. Go ahead and file open. Pick merge, and let's see if it worked. That's a good sign if we get that screen. And it looks like it worked. We got the tile screen. So that's the basic gist of how you uh, dump a game with the QDC. It's not too difficult, so let's go and move on to the FDS stick next. Okay, now we're going to go over the FDS Stick software, and I put a link in the description of the video to where you can download that as well. Go ahead and launch it once you've got your uh, stuff all connected to your computer. It's real easy. Just click the Disk tab and click Read Disk. It's going to ask you for a file name. Now, something to note is if you're doing it for preservation purposes, you can also dump these bin and raw files. They're not terribly useful for emulation. In fact, no emulators can run them, but they could be useful in the future for uh, preservation stuff. So, I mean, if you're here, you might as well dump them. But we're just gonna go ahead and dump the FDS file and we'll call it exciting basketball again. We don't have to have side A because the nice thing with the FDS stick is it's gonna combine our files automatically. Now, my FDS stick is on the fritz, and I don't know why, but it's not dumping these games correctly, and they're saying they're bad. I don't know why again, but for the purposes of this video, it's still useful to be able to show you how to use it. So, side A's dumped. Flip it over side B. And it's done. So that's a nice thing, like I said with the FTS stick, is it combines the files automatically for you. So you don't have to mess with that, and you can just load your resulting file up in an emulator and see if it works. And you also get this handy log. Um, sometimes I think they will say bad at CRC regardless. That doesn't mean they're bad. But if you're getting missing files, that usually does mean they're bad. So just make sure and double check your files in an emulator before you say they're good. And it doesn't hurt to try to redump them multiple times just in case you're uh, not getting a good dump. I've had some disks I read five or six times and then finally it would get all the files read. So just keep that in mind. Um, other than that, that's all I can think of. It does have this added benefit too of being able to load ROMs on it and play them on your console. So when you dump your disk, you can actually throw them on here and uh, load it up on your console. And you don't even have to have a Famicom disk system to mess with. So Oh, the belt's breaking on those drives all the time. That's no longer an issue. All you have to have is a RAM adapter and the FDS stick, and you can load the ROMs off of that. So that's a pretty big benefit to the FDS stick. So now that we've gone over how to uh, connect and use the software for both solutions, I was just going to do a quick uh, run-through of the pros and cons of each, in my opinion. So let's start off with the FDS stick. The pros of it are that it's easy and cheap to acquire. You can get it from the website and order it, pretty simple. Uh, it doubles as a flash cart, so if you want to be able to play your Famicom Disk System ROMs that you dump on your console, uh, you can do that pretty easily. 
and uh, lastly the software was really easy to use as you saw it auto combined the files and we didn't have to mess with the raw stuff at all but it did have some cons because it requires a cable that you either have to make out of two FDS RAM adapters or you can order one from Toto Tech but either way that's going to be an added cost you're going to have to consider um, and then it may not be as reliable at dumping disk as a QDC I can't say that for sure but I just know this one I have in my possession seems to be going on the fritz or else it just has a harder time than the QDC dumping disc that maybe are in a little worse shape than others. So just keep that in mind. If you're going to be doing a lot of uh, dumping for preservation purposes, you might want to uh, consider a QDC over the FDS stick. So the pros of the QDC, again, it's very good at dumping disc and it seems to be able to handle these uh, failing discs better than the FDS stick. And uh, no extra cables needed. You can just remove that one that I showed you in the video earlier uh, from your RAM adapter and then replace it when you're done. So there's uh, no harm, no foul. But uh, the cons with QDC are that it's not a flash cart solution like the FDS stick and that it costs more. I think it's 50 bucks around that. And then on top of that, you're gonna have to ship it from Japan, which is an added cost. So again, if you're using this for preservation purposes, and you're going to be doing a lot of disc, I would probably recommend the QDC over the FDS stick. But the FDS stick can dump most discs. I've dumped tons with it, and it's worked fine most of the time. And you get the added benefit of this flash card. So it just depends what you're going to be doing with it. So consider all these uh, things before you do your purchase. I hope this video was helpful. And uh, feel free to like and uh, subscribe to us for more videos. I appreciate you watching.